In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the custom prompt AI step in Relay.app. Now, a custom prompt step is the most flexible type of AI step. Unlike an AI extract or an AI summarize or an AI classifier, which are built for very specific purposes, a custom prompt step is extremely flexible. You can give the AI any input data, any instructions, and then any output format you want, and it's gonna do the best job it can. But because of those, that flexibility, they can be a little bit tricky to set up. So I'm gonna walk you through it step by step. Let's dive in. The motivating example I'm gonna use for this use case is extracting information from an email and writing it into a spreadsheet. Now in this case, I have an email, which is the Axios Pro Rata newsletter, and you can see it has a list of venture capital deals. And for each venture capital deal, it includes information like the funding amount, the company name, the investors, etc. And I wanna get that information into this spreadsheet, which has a column for company name, funding amount, investors, and summary. And I have a relay.app workflow set up, which is gonna do this AI transformation from the unstructured data of the email to the structured data of the spreadsheet. It starts when I receive an email and I filtered it down to just the Axios Pro Rata emails. Now I'm gonna create the custom prompt step. To do that, I'm gonna press the add step button. And then in the add a step menu on the right, I'm gonna select AI. I'm gonna select the first option, prompt any model. Now, you'll see the first thing the custom prompt step asks you for is the prompt. The prompt is a technical term for the instructions you want to give the AI, and you can just write those in free form text. So in this case, what I want the AI to do is, please review the content of the email newsletter and extract a list of companies that have recently raised funding rounds. For each company, please include the following. Company name, funding amount, investors, and summary. So now that I've given the AI the instructions of what I want it to do, I need to do two things next. First, I need to attach the data that it needs to do that computation on my behalf. And then second, I need to specify the output that I'm asking for. So first, to specify the input, you're gonna press the attach data button. You see at the bottom of that text box, attach data. And once you click attach data, in this case, I'm just gonna attach the email, which comes from my trigger, step one. In other cases, you might wanna attach a PDF or a spreadsheet or some information from your CRM. But in this case, I just need to give the AI access to the email. Next, you're gonna specify the output. And there's two basic types of output you could have. You could have text, for example, if you wanna write it into an email or a document or a Slack message, or you can have what we call structured data. That's useful if you're writing information into a CRM or a spreadsheet and you want individual fields. In this case, I want individual fields to put into that spreadsheet, so I'm gonna select structured data. When you select structured data, you have two ways that you can tell the AI step what structured data you want. One, you could specify manually. You could say, I want a text field for the company name, I want a number field for the amount of funding raised, et cetera, et cetera. Or if you've written clear instructions, very often the AI is good at knowing what you want it to give you back from the output of the, the AI step. And so in this case, I'm gonna press generate from prompt, and that's gonna ask the AI to set up the output for me. And in this case, you see it did it perfectly. It's gonna give me a list of responses because I asked for a list of companies. And for each company, it's gonna give me the summary, the list of investors, the company name, and the funding amount, which is perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Now, I can test this step to make sure it's gonna do what I expect by pressing the test button. Okay, our test is completed. It ran successfully. It would have used 126 AI credits because the email's pretty big. And here's what it got. It found 21 companies, Stacked App, Solaris, Hidden Level. And if I look into one, I see that it did a pretty good job of getting the summary, the list of investors, the company name, and the funding amount. So now I'm confident that this AI step is working and I can move forward to using that output in the rest of my workflow. This case, because I have a list of companies, I'm gonna iterate over that list of companies using an iterator. So I'm gonna press add step again, I'm gonna select iterator. The list I'm gonna iterate over is the list of companies from the AI output of step two. And then I'm gonna add a step to add a row to my Google Sheet. And the Google Sheet I wanna add a row to is that one that I just showed you, which is demo company information. 
and I want to populate the company name, the funding amount, the investors, and the summary. So for the company name, I'm going to put in the company name from this iteration. For the funding amount, I'm going to put in the funding amount for this iteration. For the investors, I'm going to put in uh, uh, all of the investors. And for the summary, I'm going to put in the summary. So now that I've created the entire workflow, I can test the whole thing all together so you can see it in action. And I'm going to do that by starting a test run at the top. I'm going to start a test run with that same email. You're going to be, you're going to be able to see what's happening step by step. So now that custom prompt AI step is running and it's going to try to follow my instructions based on the input, which is the email, to produce the output, which is that list of uh, pieces of information about each company. Okay, the AI step is done. And now for each of those companies, it's going to go through and add them to my spreadsheet. And so I'm actually going to switch over to the other tab so you can see them populating the spreadsheet one by one. In this video, I showed you how to set up a custom prompt AI step, how to create the instructions, how to set up the inputs, and how to set up the outputs so you can use the result of the AI in your subsequent steps. I hope that helps, and let me know in the comments if you have any questions.